When your license to own a gun is revoked, you're supposed to turn it over. So why are more than 27,000 people in Cook County still holding on to their weapons when they shouldn't? CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey first dug into the growing problem last year. And Megan, Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart says his calls for more funding have yet to be answered. Right, Jim and Marie Sheriff Dart says the current solution isn't working, which is why he's calling on legislators to fund regional teams that can go to the homes of non-compliant residents and retrieve the guns and firearm owners identification or FOID cards that haven't been accounted for. We're here by your FOID card. These are just a fraction of the 300 or so illegal guns that the Cook County Sheriff's Department's gun team has recovered since the beginning of 2023. The efforts clearly are not enough. But Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart says he knows where to find tens of thousands more. I know who has them and I know their address that the guns are at. FOID cards are most commonly revoked due to felony convictions, mental health concerns, or orders of protection, as was the case for this Cook County resident. How you doing? Sheriff's Police, we need to talk to you for a minute. We have a uh, firearm restraining order. We're going to serve you today, okay? I don't have a uh, firearm. Because, uh, each little red dot shown here represents a revoked FOID card and gun that hasn't been turned over to police or a third party that's legally able to hold them. In all, about 27,000 people are non-compliant in Cook County. Statewide, that number is 84,000. And this number will exponentially keep increasing. It adds about 150 new people a month. Illinois State Police facilitate approximately $2 million worth of revocation enforcement grants for departments across the state. It isn't really about us. It isn't. It's these other entities needed. DART's team estimates it would take 8 to $10 million to fund the regional teams that they believe would be most effective. Illinois State Police declined our request for an interview, but in a statement said the Cook County Sheriff's Department failed to spend its whole award for 2023. We would be happy to work together to identify additional funding if the county was able to demonstrate that they needed additional funding, the statement said in part. And Dart said the sheer number of guns that are unaccounted for demonstrate that need. He said they received their grant funds three months late, which made it more difficult to spend, but it will be spent by the end of June. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.